everybody this is Tracy here for another edition of a view from Tracy's Point and this is going to be a view from Tracy's Point short and we are going to be talking about Cardi B giving her big reveal on Saturday Night Live <music> everybody um, I hope your Monday has started off well and that um, you have a fresh start to the new week and nothing but great and positive things are on the horizon for you I want to thank all my new subscribers thank everybody who has been on board for the past year as I try to grow this channel and so just trying to add a little content as the shows that I was reviewing are coming to a close and new shows are coming up on the horizon and with the whole Cardi B thing what I really wanted to talk about uh, you know they've been speculating for months that she is pregnant even though she wasn't saying that she was and actually last week on the Wendy Williams show there was a lady in the audience and when Wendy was talking about it the lady was like she's definitely pregnant so Wendy came down that pink chair or the purple chair whatever color that chair is and went out into the audience and sat down with the lady so evidently she worked on a photo shoot that Cardi B was a part of. And I'm wondering if it was that video that she did with Bruno Mars, but she said that it was definitely apparent that Cardi B was pregnant then. And she said that that was several months ago. And so she know that she has to be like six or seven months pregnant right now. And sure enough, when Cardi B came out on Saturday Night Live, she had on this real pretty, um, body fitting I call them mermaid dresses because you know they're real body fitting and then they flare out so like a wedding dress is what it really looked out and she performed this song I'm thinking must be off of her new album but it had like a Lauren Hill vibe and it had some of the lyrics from one of um Lauren Hill song and I can't think of which I'll put it I'll drop it below when I edit the video the name of the song um I like the woman who was doing the vocals on the song a whole lot better than I like Cardi B's performance, but she seems happy and Cardi is one of those people, y'all know I'm team Jocelyn, I was team Cardi B, I'm team underdog, I just like to see people win, you know, same thing with Kaya, I just like to see people win, and especially when they're people that come from, I don't like to say people come from the gutter or came from the gutter, but they've come from um, hard experiences, you know, they were born into situations that they had no control over um think you know they're talented they have a vision they have a dream of what they want to do and for whatever reason you know sometimes it's harder getting there than other people so definitely rooting for cardi b happy for her i know there's a lot of people you know they're saying that she was a fool to get pregnant by uh it's his name offset you know because he has other kids out there and one as young as one years old so um in that sense i do think that uh, you know babies are never a mistake but she could you know probably i don't know i don't like judge people's decisions but <laughs> i think if it was me or if it was my child i would have been like girl don't you be out there making babies with this boy until you know you got a solid relationship until you marry you done got a couple of years under your belt and you know that he is the one because i think you know there's no guarantee that any marriage is going to last but at least give it a strong foundation so it can at least try to survive. And, you know, it's sort of like hurricanes, you know, the, the, the houses and structures that survive hurricanes are the ones that are on a solid foundation. So with that being said, I just want to say congratulations to Cardi B and, you know, wishing her nothing but the best and that, you know, everything works for her. And I'm glad that she was able to get this burden off her chest. I don't know what her reasoning was for, you know, trying to keep the pregnancy a secret. I know a lot of times women, you know, they want to get through the first trimester before they reveal it. But hey, Cardi, they say you seven months pregnant. I mean, <laughs> judging by your baby bump, you are seven months pregnant. So I don't know how she was concealing this for so long or 
what the thought process was behind it. Maybe she was just trying to get the, um, you know, the work that she had scheduled, do the performances that she had scheduled and wait for the release of her new um, CD before she made the announcement. But whatever the reason is, Cardi, yes, I guess it's a, you know, liberating feeling to finally be free of a burden or a secret or something that you're holding on to that you're trying to ignore, that you're trying to, like, you just wish people would go away and leave you alone. So kudos for you. Um, hope the next two months are wonderful for you, stress-free. And um, when you welcome your new baby into the world, you know, congratulations. Motherhood is a wonderful thing. Um, it comes with challenges, but at the end, you know, when you see your kids grow up and you see them achieve their dreams, you can be nothing but proud for it. So kudos for Cardi B and congratulations to you and Offset and your new baby. So guys, that's it for me on this little um, view from Tracy's Point Short. Um, leave your comments below, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.